Alright guys, I uh, was going to show you how I got all my power tools, how I keep them in my truck and everything and what all I got. I'm a residential plumber, do residential, uh, new construction and uh, service. And I've got to where I'm doing a little bit more uh, commercial, small commercial stuff. But uh, this is just how I keep them stored in the truck. I keep this. This goes into a back seat. These kind of sit next to them in the back seat. I keep them in this uh, tote, open tote. That way I can kind of pull them out and throw them back in there and everything. That way I'm not opening and closing one of my boxes. This is, goes with that rig. Uh, wheeled cart type storage system. Uh, I just take it and I put it on top of it and I roll it in for uh, new construction stuff. But uh, I got the hacksaw, Milwaukee hacksaw, the uh, non-fuel. I keep a blade on it. If I need a longer blade, I just switch it out. Uh, keep the bag full of just miscellaneous drill bits, extensions, sawzall blades, wood blades, drill bits everything in there and uh, these Diablo cast iron you can't really see it but they're for cast iron awesome awesome blade uh, I have a uh, heat gun uh, it's kind of the wrong time of the year for this but I use this for uh, thawing out uh, water lines and everything and it works great in the cold whenever you're on new construction for the uh, Oopnor Pex fittings, I usually just carry, stick this, hook this on the back pocket, carry it around with me, to uh, and use it to help heat up those fittings to where they'll shrink faster. If you've ever used them in the cold, it takes forever for them to shrink down. So I just carry this with me to kind of help them shrink down faster. That way, I ain't got to hold it near as long. Uh, I've got a uh, Milwaukee cordless super whole hog. I have the regular whole hog uh, that I've used for drilling water lines. I just put a inch and eighth bit or uh, one inch bit in it and just use it. But with this, uh, I use all my drain, drill all my drain lines with it. Uh, two, two and nine sixteenths, three and five eighths, and uh, all that. And I use it mostly with these DeWalt. Bits. They work pretty dang good. Of course, you can see that's the one that I use the most. Uh, and then this is a three and five eighths, three inch, and uh, two and an eighth for inch and a half. But they they work pretty good. And uh, also have just my standard, just your standard pole saws. I use. I usually don't use these for drilling through wood. These are usually just to, if I got to drill out through sheet metal or whatever. And this goes up to two and a half. It goes down to three quarter. It works pretty good. I've had pretty good luck with those Milwaukee hole saws. This is a seven and a quarter Milwaukee circular saw. I just put this cheap blade on it. I already had it. Uh, I keep, for it, I keep uh, a couple concrete saws because you never know. I've had to cut up some slabs. And I've actually used this to cut up some small, slab, small holes in slabs to move shower drains and stuff like that. It works pretty good. You just cut it and use a hammer drill and kind of chip it out if you don't have to make a very big hole. If you're making too big a hole, you need to get bigger. Uh, this is a just a cordless hammer drill. Uh, I pre-ordered the new one that they just come out with. I pre-ordered it and the impact. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. The thing that I don't like about this is it's you can hear that. It doesn't sound very good, but it still works fine. It just makes a weird freaking noise. 
and I have a lot of batteries. I think I've got three of the 9.0 batteries. Got three of them. And I've got a lot more batteries in there. Uh, just a little multi-tool, works great. I bought these blades. They are Storm brand wood met metal by metal. Uh, bought them at a hard, local hardware store here. They had them on sale, and they are awesome. I've had this for probably six months, and uh, of course I haven't cut very hard metal with it. I've cut John bolts with it, which they're brass with the metal uh, core, but uh, they're not very hard, so they're not very rough on them. So. But that's last for six months a lot better than most of them other ones and then this is of course the impact uh, works pretty good uh just uh that's the battery another battery that's the 4.0 got a light Keep the light in there uh, another battery and i can also keep Three and five eighths, and this is four and an eighth. I use this for putting in uh, closet flanges. They fit right inside of it, and you glue from the bottom side. And then usually just keep a little extension. I keep it poked in a corner. That way I can get to it easy. Uh, over here, I've got the blade that come with the saw. I just keep it in there with a the little cover on it. I had this one. I had this one in my other circular saw. I just put it on there and kept this on there. The plastic on there in case I ever need it. Battery charger. Keep it in there. I usually don't use this. That's why it's in the bottom. I have several chargers from buying these that I have set up in the house and. Uh, if I use my batteries real hard, I'll just break. I'll, whenever I get home, I just grab whichever ones I use and charge them up for the next day. That way, I don't have to charge them on site. A lot of places don't have power. Here's a sawzall blade that's stuck in the bottom. Got that in my bag. I have another case of sawzall blades. Uh, these are Milwaukee blades. That floating around in there. Uh, got some impact rated sockets, anode rod, and everything like that. Keep a ratchet, ratchet in there. And I have a gauge set up for testing from a stop. on there. This was a cheap supply line that come with a utility sink that I just stuck on there. It didn't work. I needed a longer one so I used the longer one. I just put that on my test and just broke the gauge. It's all right. uh, then I keep this in here for, uh, for the gauge so I can switch it out uh, for testing gas, gas lines, and then I, if I have to go to a half inch mail, I'll just take that off and do that. That's my half inch gauge for going into pretty much anything half inch. And uh, I have another three quarter, one that I have set up for three quarter and one inch in the truck. And in here I just got these three quarter elbows for pegs. Miscellaneous stuff, couple fittings, and stuff like that. But that's that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Have a good day.